More than 300 Americans have arrived home. Some of them arrived about 90 minutes north of where I am right now at Travis Air Force Base and others arrived at Lackland Air Force Base in Texas. But while they were in Japan, first they were taken from the ship and um, put on buses where they apparently had to sit for hours. It was reported that during that time, um, uh, health officials learned of positive test results uh, for novel coronavirus of 14 Americans on that bus, but they were not showing symptoms. So a last minute decision was made to allow them to board the flight. But they had to be put in a special containment area that isolated them from other passengers. The actual planes were converted 747 cargo planes, so there are makeshift bathrooms and temporary seats. Not an easy decision, uh, and not a very comfortable decision for them to make. Uh, now that they've arrived in the U.S., they must undergo 14 more days of containment at military bases, meaning they will have spent about a month being quarantined. Now, there's a lot of frustration and confusion uh, having to make the decision to leave. One passenger has said she received over a dozen emails saying they were not going to be quarantined, and in the end, she had to be quarantined. Some passengers were relieved to be back on U.S. soil, US soil while others chose to remain in Japan. Uh, some passengers were fearful that they would have to be lumped together with other passengers that were possibly infected. One Sacramento couple said that they uh, were that U.S. officials uh, were surprised by their decision to stay in Japan. Uh, they said they'd rather take their chances in Japan and deal with the consequences there. So some difficult and trying decisions being made over safety and security. Mark New, CGTN, Sunnyvale, California.